Well, tell me what you think. I uh, got sent an axe yesterday by, I don't want to mention the guy's name, by a very kind gentleman, and I made a double-headed uh, axe holder, but uh, first, to tell me what you uh, think on this one. The bag is made out of uh, buffalo, used a real uh, sheep's wool on the shoulder strap, all brass hardware. Someone's going to say it looks like a purse, but it's not. This is... Uh, I styled after, however, the design is different. It's my own design, medieval pouch. I use a brass hardware for closure, and this is a real alligator back ridges. And oh my goodness, it was somewhat difficult. I knew it would be to uh, attach this uh, to uh, the buffalo. So anyway, what do you think of that? I'm only gonna make one of these. If you're interested in it, you could uh, certainly uh, have it. If I have it, I don't mean give it away. <laughs> just, just email me if you're interested in that. Uh, this one's for me. I actually uh, sanded down the uh, the wood on uh, the axe handle. And I made this the uh, pouch for the double-bladed axe. I actually also, too, uh, sanded down some rust spots on the head of the axe and sharpened the axe. I mean, it's so sharp now you could shave with it. And I uh, put my stamps on here and uh, turned out... Very nice. That's to hang it from a hook on the wall, or you could hang it from something else. But uh, turned out really nice. So this this is pretty. It's pretty badass. I I have to admit. I I had the idea in my head, and it turned out roughly what I expected. It turned out a little bit better than I thought, as far as how it would look. I guarantee you, there's nobody else on earth <laughs> that has a buffalo bag with genuine alligator. Yeah, literally, like, hello. Um, when you try to cut these, you can't cut them with scissors. But I always wondered my entire life, what's inside these alligator ridges? And it's different than the tail. Like, the tail ridges that stick up the spikes are kind of like a really uh, uh, soft yet squishy leather. But inside of these ridges on the back, even though I have the world's most powerful sewing machine uh, for leather, I do. I, I really do. Um, I've shown it in videos. The this What's inside of these are bone, and it, it's white, and it looks like bone. And if you try to cut through it, it's almost exactly like trying to cut through bone. There's not a single sewing machine out there that could sew through these, the actual ridges themselves, and they actually extend out. So, at least they bony ridges. They really are bony ridges. So if you ever wondered... What's inside uh, alligator ridges on their back? There is really bone there. I don't know of another animal. I mean, alligator basically is a dinosaur. I don't know of another critter out there other than its regular bones, its skeleton, has bones inside of its skin. I mean, it, it really is bone. I kid you not. It's white like bone, and it is tough like bone. So, anyway, I think the bag turned out pretty epic. It's definitely one of a kind. I double stitched it um, with a tough 138 braided nylon and uh, all brass hardware. So if you're interested in it, let me know. There's brass rings up here. Used uh, Swiss rivets. So it's buffalo, alligator, and genuine sheep's wool. I loved how my axe uh, sheath uh, turned out. I really do love how this sucker turned out. This is a unique design on uh, this and how it buckles the axe head buckles in there so thanks for sending me the axe buddy and uh i'm only gonna make one of these kind of like to keep it for myself but if anybody's interested in it let me know tell me what you think thanks